Hewlett of Packard and the Sheriff of McNeely. He did ban indie and visual computing, Go making it unavailable to the common man, forcing the good people of Silicon Forest to use most limiting computers. Prince William spread terror amongst the helpless. Those found with an indie were punished so that they were unable to spread the word. This day, Prince William and his friends were met to celebrate a promising future wherein they would take advantage of the good people. We have constrained them all, sire. For if even one indie computer were to remain in Silicon Forest, it would <laughs> certainly spark a revolt. Good! Most excellent! Dost thou not agree, my lady? <laughs> Fool! Entertain us! Well, methinkest thou were speaking to him, sire? <laughs> Do I know thee, Sir Knight? It is I, Thomas of Furlong, better known as Thomas Hood. And this be the new Indy. Yeah. New Indy? Yes, sire. Oh, God. They have relaunched it. Oh, even catapulted it into regions beyond belief. Making it even more suitable for the craftsmen of thy kingdom. Impossible! <laughs> Seize them! <laughs> on your collaborative tools, your intuitive ideas, and your digital media. The Indie integrates easily into environments and comes with great bundled software. <laughs> oh, a curse on Indie! It is much too easy to use and meeteth the needs of all the people! Yay, and the new Indie increaseth creativity a thousandfold! <laughs> and verily put it directly on the web. McNeely and Hewlett of Packard, whose days are numbered. Centuries. 